Food and agricultural uh, organization has uh, has warned of disruptions in the food supply chain in April and May. This is as a result of uh, world hunger and the negative impact of COVID-19 on food. And our Greg Wendy Lai reports. Currently, some 820 people around the world are experiencing chronic hunger. Of this, 113 million are coping with acute severe insecurity, hunger so severe that it poses an immediate threat to their lives or livelihoods and renders them reliant on external assistance to get by. These people can ill afford any potential further disruptions to their livelihoods or access to food that COVID-19 might bring. In a Q&A, the FAO indicated it expects disruptions in the food supply chain in April and May. COVID-19 is no longer a regional issue, but it is a global problem calling for a global response. We recognize that the livelihoods of these smallholder farmers and associated value chain actors are at risk, significant risk, if we don't take action now. The shock of COVID-19 is somewhat unusual as it affects significant elements of both food supply and demand. Those people with minimal or no social safety nets will be at most risk and most vulnerable to the food and nutrition impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic, including millions of school children who are already missing out on the school meals they've come to rely on through the school feeding programs. But the food supply chain must be kept open. Unless we take measures to ensure food value chains continue to function and are not disrupted, that the COVID-19 pandemic health crisis could also turn into a food crisis in the near future. Experts say good preparation and swift action can minimize the impact on food and agriculture. If the Ghana Coronavirus Alleviation Program can also allocate resources to improve social safety nets for most vulnerable people, those people who are nutrition and food insecure, or those people who have limited income or no income due to restrictions being put in place to curb disease spread, then to a large extent, the response of the government here in Ghana will have averted major crises. Africa is particularly at risk as the disease can lead to reduction in labor force and affect labor intensive forms of production in agriculture, but also because most of the food crisis countries are in sub-Saharan Africa. Wendy Lai, TV3 News.